Hello everyone, this is Agent Ross. Welcome to part 2 of the Zero to Hero series. In the first video, we talked about the life skill gear progression. In this video, we will be talking about the actual in-game progression in Black Desert Online. I will show you what you need to do from start to end. Now let's get into it. Today is your first day. I know this may sound weird, but on your first day, you shouldn't worry about the gear or leveling. First thing you will be doing is focusing on the Black Spirit main quest sign. This will help you to explore the map in the right way. You will be familiar with all the town, cities and the NPCs. At this stage, you can ignore all the side and repeatable quests. Make sure you speak to all the NPCs you see. This will increase your max energy. There are three life skills we will be doing. These are gathering, cooking and farming. Once you are done with the main quest sign, you should have enough contribution points to buy 10 large farms. For farming, you will be creating a separate character. This character will be staying at farms 24-7. You shouldn't be using your main character for farming, so you don't have to run back and forth every time your farms need attention. To increase your farming level, you will be doing pruning and plant breeding until you are artisan or master 1. Once you are master 1, you can send workers to your farms to do the pruning for you. We will also stop plant breeding and you will be harvesting the seeds for cooking ingredients. Pepper, onion and hot pepper are the main ingredients you will be getting from the farms for cooking. Make sure you always have enough stock of each product. For cooking, we will be focusing on three main dishes. These are media, balonus and valencia meals. I have created a spreadsheet for you where you can see all the ingredients and old meals for these three dishes. So you don't waste too much time going back and forth looking for individual recipes. The link for the spreadsheet will be on my discord. In the first video, I advise every player to have a list for long term and short term goals as well as a daily to do list. You will know why daily to do list is so important, especially in life skill when you start dealing with hundreds of different ingredients and alt meals that you need to manage when you get into life skill. It will get overwhelming and hard to manage pretty quickly, especially for the new players. You will be wasting a lot of time looking at your warehouse trying to figure out what you are missing and what you need to cook or gather. When you log into the game, spending the first 5-10 minutes to prepare your daily to-do list will eventually save you hours. Make sure you write your daily to-do list in order, so your day goes smoothly and at the end of the day you will easily track your progression and you will see what you have accomplished. When I first started playing this game, I used to waste a lot of time just keep looking at my warehouse trying to figure out what I needed to do. After doing a daily to-do list, I only have to look at my warehouse once a day and that's the time I write the list. Trust me, without a list, you will be spending half of your gameplay trying to figure out what you need to do next. Your daily to-do list doesn't have to be too complex. For example, when it comes down to cooking, you can write down what meals you need to cook in which order. And for gathering, you can check your stock levels and see what's running out and what you need to gather for those recipes. In the future, you will be doing a weekly to-do list. There are many factors that will be affecting your weekly to-do list and I will talk about them in the coming videos. At the moment, you are allowed to create 21 characters in an account. I advise everyone to create Shai as your alt. There are certain benefits of creating Shai alts. First of all, Shai start with professional gathering and alchemy, which means you will get free life fame and you will easily reach the next family fame bracket. We will be using these alts to gather milk. Currently, the mastery level doesn't increase the milk quantity. The only thing that increases the milk quantity is the gathering level. Since Shai start at professional gathering level, you will be getting a lot more milk compared to a beginner level. Shai will also have a little bit more weight than other characters. Don't worry, you can delete these characters for free if you ever need the space in the future. With 400 energy, you should be getting around 1600 milk. It should take you less than a week to recover the 400 energy back. So once a week, you will be spending a few hours gathering milk. And it should be more than enough for your meals. You will be crafting balonos and media meals when you have milk and valencia when you are low on milk. If you don't like gathering milk, you can exchange 200 energy for a large energy potion. 
You can use these energy potions on your main life skill character to boost up your gathering level. Now let's talk about gathering. Your first short term goal will be getting to master 1 and the long term goal will be getting to master 28. As I mentioned on my previous video, once you are master 28, you will be sitting at 1450 gathering mastery and at this level you will be making around 200 million per hour. There are three parts you can take to get to master 28. You can also do a mix match as you like. It's all up to you and what you really enjoy. Our aim is to reach our goal while having fun. You can gather meat, rough stone or herbs. Each part has its pros and cons. Meat gathering will be great for money but terrible for XP. The herbs gathering is the best for XP but not so good for money. Rough stone gathering is decent money and decent XP. If you are going to choose rough stone path, make sure you check out my cooking utensil workshop guide to maximize your income. If you gather herbs, it will take you 6 hours to get to master 1 and around 90 hours to get to master 28. Rough stones will take 8 hours to get master 1 and around 140 hours to get to master 28. Meat gathering will take 16 hours to get the master 1 and around 280 hours to get the master 28. We will be macro managing everything not to waste any seconds. So everything will be going smoothly from the moment you log into the game until you log out. For example, in the beginning we will be gathering while our energy is full and doing knowledge while waiting to recover our energy. Our short term goal will be reaching 400 energy and the long term goal will be getting 500 max energy. Once you are around 450 energy, you will be spending your downtime with cooking. If you are going to gather herbs, make sure you rent a house in Behir town and put a storage chest inside. You will be cooking in this house while waiting for your energy to recover. On the other hand, if you are going to gather rough stones, you will be buying a house in sand grain and cooking in this house as well. If you don't have enough storage, that's not an issue. Just cook some of the basic alt recipes such as red sauce, vinegar, exotic herbal wine, pickled vegetables, etc. and cook the more complex meal at your main town. You will be spamming extra large energy potions every 10 minutes while cooking to recover your energy quickly so you can get back to gathering as soon as possible. No matter what your mastery level is, using energy potions are totally worth it. You can just buy them from the marketplace even if they are at max price. The long term benefit of using energy potions this way is huge. If you are going to AFK more than half an hour, you should be processing materials for cooking such as flour and dough. When it comes to cooking, our short term goal is to get to Guru 1 as soon as possible. For example, if you are cooking vinegar, it should take you around 50 hours to get to Guru 1. And if you are cooking pickled vegetables, it should be around 20 hours. The reason we would like to get Guru 1 is so we can trade in Guru Imperial cooking boxes as soon as possible. Every time you cook something, there is a chance to get a side dish. When you exchange these side dishes, you will also be getting cooking XP, but more importantly, you will be getting contribution points. Our short term goal is to get 400 contribution points. Once you get to 400 contribution points, it's up to you to exchange side dishes for milk or more contribution points. At 400 CP, even if you buy all the dishes from the marketplace, you will be making around 100 million profit daily. Once you start cooking these meals, at a higher mastery, you will be making around 200 million profit a day. The next part is the note management. I will be making a separate video on that. In the meantime, just invest your contribution points to get all the cooking material nodes and ignore the rest. You shouldn't waste any CP trying to connect main cities. This is unnecessary. If you have spare contribution points, just get more tool workshops. We will also be making a separate video for cooking. If you like me to make a video about something, please let me know so I can include them in the next video. I'm currently doing free one-on-one -on -one coaching, so if you like to know more about the game or life skill, please check out my Twitch channel where you can ask me anything you like. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video.